fans are I'm a, real. I'm going to much I safer place some Raider fans. down there in Dallas. Take it on the Rams. And li this is there. wild from the coin toss. Listen. It is heads. Dallas has won the toss. Go defense. Defense. We want to kick it. Kick it that way. You want to kick. We defer the second half. Yes. Okay, you're going to kick. Well, because Dak didn't originally say that we'll defer. He said we want to kick. We want to play defense. The Rams were going to get the kick in both halves. But the NFL event official with an administrative call. So they reversed it. They got the right call. And that's the right call that by Jason Witten. great Whitten. throw, by the way. Great yeah. throw and great catch, by the way. One hand by Jason Witten, by the way. And then second quarter in a 1-1 game, Tavon Austin. Uh, Dion, do we call that a blown coverage? Yeah, no, no, the guy fell. The guy that was covering him ran into his a good, like a long pick route, a deep pick route. Watch those guys run into each other. DB fall, Tavon Austin, wide open yeah. deck, located him, which was phenomenal. Touchdown. Yeah, that's a 17-yard separation. Most on any receiving TD this year. And later on in the second, the Rams are down 14. Jared Goff picked off. Nice hands by Sean Lee. Just the third takeaway by the Cowboys in the last six games and a solid return. The big news here, Goff actually hit his hand on Andrew Whitworth's helmet. He did not miss a snap throughout the rest of the game, but it was bothering him. He was icing it between series, and he was even trying to look at the plays with his left hand, and that's, that's really tough. If you do that on your phone, it's a, it's a real problem. Uh, Zeke, they got back to using Zeke, Dion. That was big. Well, they always try to use Zeke. The, the game predicates that. Yeah. So Jerry's like, thumbs up, thumbs it's not up. like they don't want to use Zeke. That was a great game, man. Yeah. So now you look at great the standings. Great game, Cowboys. The NFC East. It's Dallas at Philly next Sunday. Dallas wins that one. They are postseason bound, and they're going to be feeling oh so good. Just what the doctor ordered uh, to get you out of the whatever you're in. And uh, I must say, uh, uh, I guess I'm going to have to get me a new corn flip caller out there. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, uh, uh, really proud because uh, uh, that does renew uh, the team's uh, confidence in its work. And uh, uh, we have all the respect in the world for the Rams. You know we do. Uh, uh, almost this time last year, they taught us a lesson in the running game, and we know they're uh, uh, they're well coached and a good team. So uh, this one was richly deserved and came along at a good time for us. All right, so Dallas ends up scoring a season high 44 points. They finally beat a winning team for the first time in seven tries this year. All is well. You're buying them again, right? I'm not going to say I'm buying them. This is the worst division in football. Therefore, they have a solid chance to win the division. Why? Because first and foremost, the offense is phenomenal. We can sit here and say what we want, but this is the number two ranked offense in the NFL, number one in yardage per game. I mean, Dak is just lead. Dak, Dak is balling. We, we don't give him credit. Dak is balling. Everybody say, why don't you just turn around and hand the ball to Zeke? Well, the game has to dictate that. When you see eight men in the box, you got to throw the football. That's why Dak has been so prominent in throwing the football yardage-wise this season. But the game today, it predicated that you turn around and give Zeke the football, and that's what they did. And it paid dividends today. Defensively, guess what? They came up with some plays. They made some plays defensively, and to me, that was the difference of uh -huh. this game. No question. I want you to look into your crystal ball. Do you have a crystal ball in your room right now? Anywhere? Hanging out? No, I have no crystal ball. No. Mm, All right, let's say, let's say the playoffs stay exactly the way they are, seedings-wise. Dallas would host San Francisco on that first weekend. Would Dallas have any chance against the Niners? Yeah, you always have a chance. If you're in the NFL, you got a chance. You oh, got a shot. Okay, See, no. some teams match up. Some teams match up good against the other team. I'm not, not, I'm not buying the Cowboys and letting you think they're back on top. They're ready for the world. No, but they got a shot. Atlanta had a darn shot today, and they took it, and they won. See? The eternal optimist, the Hall of Famer. Game of the day, Kyle Shanahan and his crew, they clinched playoff berth with the very next play. 
Julio is going to get his number called and watch the hit by Jimmy Ward right at the goal line. Now, keep in mind, Falcons don't have any timeouts left. They say he did not cross the plane. Ward kept him out of the end zone. Time runs out. But once again, we have another booth review. And indeed, the ball is over. It just has to get past a little bit of the white. Yes, Julio, that is indeed a touchdown. Kyle Shanahan can't believe it. Matt Ryan's like, yes, I beat my old OC. As for the Niners, uh, not as fun as last week in New Orleans. I mean, we don't play at our level, um, you know, like we played last week or how like we played all season. Uh, you know, anybody can get beat on any Sunday, and we definitely have to play better. Um, I don't think we played at a, any type of intensity that we've been playing all year, and um, we got to figure out that. Uh, I wish I could play right now, so. Yeah, that's a sour taste. I'd love to get it out of my mouth right now, uh, but we got 24 hours. Uh, flush it, and we'll be back to work. Uh, roller coaster, uh, you know, obviously a lot of the highs of highs, and then you know, a, a real big low there at the end. So, uh, you know, it's it's tough, but it, it's football, man. Seahawks had dreams of making the postseason. They would with a win. And a Rams loss in Dallas. Of course, Seahawks were in Carolina first quarter. Russell Wilson, look at the touch on this to DK Metcalf, Dion. Let me tell you something. Russell to DK Metcalf. Get accustomed to hearing these two mm -hmm. names together for quite some time. Yeah, and you can tell by the next-gen stats, they like living dangerously. Catch probability, 17% this year. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll connect anyway. Next Seahawks possession, Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. Kind of a forgotten guy in this great offense over call. the last month. Yeah, great play call, great execution of a play. He kind of leaked out uh, third read and then Russell put it on the money. Hey, you know who we don't talk about enough? Chris Carson. This guy is a bulldozer, Dion. Yes, he is. And when you could couple that with the way Russell Wilson is playing, you got a balanced offense. Yeah, 24 for 133 and two scores. Christian McCaffrey, congratulations. First Panther player with more than 2,000 yards from scrimmage in a single season. That kid's been awesome. Now, it's a six-point lead for Seattle. Two and a half to go. Third and 11. What's Wilson going to dial up? That'd be Tyler Lockett. Eight snags for 120. That 120 receiving yards, more than his last four games combined. Down. And how about heading to the postseason, Russell Wilson and crew? That's exactly what is happening. Because you take a look at the playoff picture with the Rams getting blown out down in Dallas. Seattle, not only did they clinch a playoff berth, they move from the five seed to the one seed as of right now. Green Bay has punched its ticket. So too did San Francisco. Although right now they are playing on wild card weekend. So that takes us right now to the Mercedes-Benz road to the playoffs. Now, Big picture here, Dion. The San Francisco loss is not huge because if they win out, which means Saturday yeah. at home against the Rams on NFL Network, then the final Sunday up in Seattle, they're going to be division champs. They're going to be the one seed. But who do you like more right now in the NFC? Is it the Niners or is it Seattle and why? I like the Niners because of their defense is impeccable. Their defense uh, is one of the best in the NFL, and you could travel anywhere with a defense of that sort. They can run the ball successfully. Now, today, they just, just was one of those days. You, you don't need to go cry, watch the tape. Don't even watch it. You know what happened. You lost, all right? David beat Goliath. You, that, that happened sometime in the NFL. But there's no need to break the glass in case of emergency. These guys can really perform. I don't like Seattle because I don't like them defensively. I like them as a team, but I don't like them to go the distance, meaning to the Super Bowl, because defensively, they're not sound. I don't think they're executing. Russell is bailing them out. Uh, they have a phenomenal offense, but defensively, they're like luster. Okay, but you know it's a different animal up there in Seattle. I mean, it's a different place to play, right? Some places... Not really. Not really. Oh, come on, it's Not loud. Really. How many times I mean, we, do we, we have a false no, start no, up we, there? We get all? hyped up on the fans, the 12. There ain't nobody playing in the NFL care about no 12. Ain't nobody care about no 12. <laughs> Everybody got a 12. <laughs> Every team has a 12. Stop. We just give, gave them a darn name. Oh, Dion. No, nobody. I have never seen a player walk off the field and say, you know what, man, that... That darn crowd really made a difference in the outcome of this game. Ain't nobody care about that. You've never whatsoever. played. Whatsoever. You've never played in the play. Well, maybe because, listen, you played offense in your day here and there. 
maybe it's an offensive yep. thing because you have heard the number of times where linemen are so lost out there. Uh, you know, wide receivers, they can't hear anything when they're 10 yards away from the football. You're trying to tell me that it's not a huge no, advantage? No, I, I, only home for, home field advantage people that was with the Raiders. You didn't want your family to go there because you were scared they are going to get shanked. <laughs> Everybody take a deep breath at home on that one. Uh, <laughs> take a deep I'm breath. sorry, I just told the truth. I apologize. Everybody, you know, if, you play, if you're an NFL player, you do not want your family members. You, you understand what I'm saying. It's going to be better in Vegas. That's why, they, that's why they're going to Vegas. The Raiders fans Can are we real. Can we move on? The Raiders